Thank you, fit in. So, Joseph, I want to turn this to you. If I'm sitting on the jury and I listen to that and I think, OK, maybe that's why she didn't turn over the tape. Maybe she didn't understand the law. Maybe she didn't know that Erica Stefanko did something legally wrong. Put that aside. I might not care because at the end of the day, all I'm focused on is the recording. There is no evidence that that recording was manipulated, that someone spliced in the words of Erica Stefanko. She said those things and the defense really didn't put on a good explanation for why she said those things. Why would she say she was a part of this? She did her part. She's afraid of the police. She thought Chad was going to turn on her. She talked about how much she hated Ash and Big. She talked about how she could have at some point turned this plan around, but yet she worked with Chad Cobb on it. So I don't care maybe at the end of the day why Cindy Cobb didn't hand it in. At the end of the day, that recording, I just feel, may be too hard for the defense to overcome. Your thoughts? I agree with you. If you try to argue what it meant or what it did not mean, in other words, you're wordsmithing or playing what I call lawyer tricks on the words, you're going to lose. However, the way it should be dealt with is this. And a prosecutor just gave the defense their way out, and it is this. One, you can do nothing. Two, you can call someone and, and tell on the guy. Or three, you can participate in the crime. The government's job at this point is to prove it, not number one, but it's number three. They have to show that she was not only aware of it, but that she then did an act or acts in furtherance to help that crime get committed. That way, you explain now the phone call that sounds just like this. Yes, I knew he was going to do it. Yes, he said some things about why he wanted to do it or when he might want to do it and the reasons behind that. And I even argued with him about that. And I even say things like, you can't do that because you're just going to get caught. What about that? How are you going to get to see your daughter if you get caught? That would now mm -hmm, explain mm -hmm. the phone call, which is, look, yes, I was aware of it. And yes, I was complacent in being the wife because I realized I have a duty there, but I decided not to do anything about it because I don't want anything to do about it. Now right, you can put those Unfortunately for the defense, they didn't articulate it the way you just did. And that's the problem. Right. And maybe that's why, as we keep saying, Erica Stefanko looked so upset in court yesterday. Talking about it, again, yeah. prosecution's rebuttal closing. There was, there was nothing after this. So, again, here's more of what the prosecutor said. 